Hello, Pastor Wayne Carpenter here from Christian Church for All Nations. I'm the worship director, and this is our morning devotional. Thank you for joining. And today I'd like to open up the discussion about trouble. Now, let's get one thing off the table. I'm not talking about people who are in leadership. People in leadership are there to stand up to trouble. They are there to confront and to provide a safe place for the people that they intend to lead. If they're not doing that, then they're really not leading at all. But this is just card, common, ordinary trouble that we go through all the time. Now, in John 14, 1, here it is saying, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now, at first blush, if, without looking at the source, I'd say, well, yeah, okay, easy for you to say, except it was Jesus that said it. So the context here is that Jesus is actually saying, um, you can do this through me. And so he, when he says, let not your heart be troubled, there's a reason. I'm going to get to that a little bit because it depends on where your heart's at is really where the trouble begins. Also, keep in mind there are professions that actually look for trouble and they go rescue people in the process of looking for trouble. There's also professions that are risk averse and they're looking for trouble down the road and they're trying to avoid it both for themselves and for the people that they serve. But there's also a type of trouble that helps us grow. Now in James 1, 2 through 8, it's saying, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. That helps us grow. That type of trouble is the kind of trouble that helps us to develop as believers. And God perfectly intends to develop us through the circumstances I'm not saying he brings the trouble when the trouble comes. He's there with us. Let's pray. I thank you, Father God, that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you will absolutely never leave us or forsake us. Help us as we face this day and we face every day, Lord, to know you're by our side and your Holy Spirit is inside us and that our future is ahead of us and it is bright. Help us to be cheerful. Help us to be loving as we go through any troubles that we may face. We look for that grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, part of trouble, in just general trouble in the world, is a matter of course. At least Jesus teaches us this way. He's saying in Mark 13, 7, But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen. But the end is not yet. So he's, what he's saying is, as a matter of course, we're going to run into trouble. And he's saying, don't let that bother you because this is going to happen. It's not like you can avoid it. It's going to happen. And while we're on that topic, if you think about it, would you rather face trouble without the Lord or would you rather tra face trouble with the Lord? And I think that's an interesting thing to explore, too, especially with a non-believer who is trying to figure out, you know, this Christ thing. And if you put it in those terms, it becomes a little bit more real that when we face trouble, we have God on our side if we are believers. Now, he also, Jesus gives us the source to escape the trouble through peace. And John 14, 27, uh, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, not as the world gives, do I give you, let not your heart trouble, let it neither let it be afraid. So Jesus is saying here, <laughs> it's the peace that he's given us that gives us that escape. And I don't mean escape like we're watching TV and everything feels fine. I'm talking about an escape into where we feel that trouble, we feel that anxiety, we feel whatever that is coming on. And we can go to the Word of God, we can go to our Savior, we can go right there as our source to resolve that trouble that we feel. And many times, it's trouble that feels very real to us. And it's important that we resolve it because we shouldn't live in that sort of fear. But on the other hand, a lot of times, it's very resolvable because God is going to be ultimately in control. And if we give our lives over to him, then we've got what it takes to transition out of a period where we're not feeling great to where we still may have a troubling situation 
but we're not facing it alone, and God will help us with that. There's also a situation here where we should check our sources when we do find trouble. In the book of Acts, here is the apostles saying, since we have heard that some who went out from us have troubled you with words. Now he's saying that some went out from the apostles and then troubled a church with words. Unsettling your souls, saying, you must be circumcised and keep the law. To whom we gave no such, such commandment. So here's a situation where the record is being set straight here. This is in the book of Acts 15, 24. And the, book, the uh, record is being set straight at this point, saying, okay, this is not part of the doctrine. And what we now know as the Word of God, and we look at it as the New Testament, they were living it at that time. So he's saying, hey, we didn't give a name commandment like that. So checking our sources can keep us out of a, a lot of trouble. And if we go back to the Word of God, if we go back to the people who are in authority over us, we're going back to the people who are closest to us to evaluate our situation. We're not alone. We never were and we never will be. We are part of a group, of a family group, it's a church group, whatever it is. There's believers around us for a reason. God has provided that fellowship. So there's also trouble that we do bring on ourselves. And I, you know, I've experienced this, and I'm sure we all have in one sense or another. But in Hebrews 12, 15, it says, Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble. And by this, many become defiled. So there are times when we can actually cause ourselves our own trouble. We can be our own worst enemy, if you will. And sometimes we need to take a look at that. And is something that we are engaged in in our life allowing the trouble to happen? Is it, is it coming out of something or somewhere that we're spending our time or people we're talking to? Or what are we taking in and what are we looking for out of life? If those things are taking us in the wrong direction, then trouble will most certainly come our way. And there is deliverance for that. But it also deliverance comes at the price of repentance. And we go through that process and we might have to go through it again and again and again over different issues. But it's always the same. We go from glory to glory and we keep moving forward in God. That's what he provides for us. That's what the Christian walk and the walk of faith is all about. Is It's not a static thing. It's not something that's in place forever and that's it. You're, you've only gone this far and this as far as you're going to go. No, it's dynamic. God is looking to help us to grow, to get stronger, to be able to face circumstances that are greater than the ones that we knew before. I'm certainly sure that a lot of us have come to that point where we've grown to the point where we can face more now than we used to. Well, that's continuing. That never ends. And just imagine as he perfects us who we can eventually become. And what I'd like to do is leave you with this as a prayer. And this is in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. It says, Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Let's pray. I thank you, Lord, that there is always a solution in your kingdom and I thank you that there is always a place for us to turn and I thank you God that if we just well no I'm asking Lord right now that by your grace to impress upon us how important that is to us in our daily lives how we can face so many situations that we feel are impossible but they're certainly not impossible with you I see that for that grace Lord that strength that insight the revelation knowledge Lord to walk through this day and every other day in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining. And if you'd like to join us with Christian Church for All Nations, we have Sunday service at 11 a.m. We're at roughly 12 Mile in Shainer. And then also we have Wednesday service from 6.30 to 7.30, which is also worship in the Word during the week. And, of course, these devotionals, which run from uh, Tuesday through Friday. Well, thank you for joining with me today. And have a blessed day and have a great weekend.